Hey guys, this is Mark Howard, author of the Griffin Legends fantasy novel series. Uh, thanks for joining me here. So, uh, it has been a really busy week. Um, we've got a lot going on here. So, uh, first off, uh, as a recap, for those of you who may have missed the last couple of videos, we have an audiobook in the works. Godfrey's Crusade is becoming an audiobook. Uh, I've had some great discussions with my narrator, and we anticipate the book or the audiobook should be finished here within uh, just a few weeks. Uh, end of April beginning of May at the latest. I don't want to jinx it, but that's our rough time frame there. So exciting stuff ahead. Uh, even more exciting, uh, if it couldn't get any more exciting than that, I have been asked to write a screenplay for Godfrey's Crusade. And I've got a lot to learn. I, I have to admit that before... Uh, I was asked to write this screenplay. I have never really, um, I've never read one before. I've, uh, I've dabbled with the thought of writing one previously, but uh, not in a very serious sense here. So uh, over this last weekend, and the few days leading up to the recording of this, I have been going full steam ahead in learning everything I can about screenwriting uh, so that I can adapt my novel, Godfrey's Crusade, the first part of the Griffin Legends series, into this screenplay. Now, to manage expectations here a little bit, uh, being asked to write a screenplay is not the same thing as getting a movie deal, right? Um, so as exciting as this is, it's not a movie deal yet. It's a big important step towards getting a movie deal, but before we get too excited, we first need to write the screenplay, make it as good as we possibly can, and then uh, hope that the powers that be like it enough that uh, we get a contract sent our way. So, uh, yeah, but gosh, a, a lot to think about there. Um, and so I guess uh, I wanna share with you a few thoughts I've had about writing screenplays and uh, what my research has shown here, right? So a screenplay is not the same thing as a novel, right? The reason why I don't just jump right in and start writing uh, is because a screenplay is a different uh, a form of writing here, right? It's a, um, as I've read more on this, it's more like a a script to a play, but it's still a little bit different here. Um, and so there are some significant differences uh, with that, right? Uh, namely, that with a novel, you're mostly inside a character's head, right? You see what that character sees. You know what that character is thinking. And so you get extremely intimate with your one main character, or however many viewpoint characters you happen to have. Uh, on the other hand, a screenplay is a story told through pictures. And so um, you don't get as much of the inner monologues and that sort of thing, right? Uh, a lot of the screenplay is about the external. Uh, how do we know what a character is thinking? Well, that character has to say something about what they're thinking, or uh, that character has to uh, react to something in a certain way with, uh, with their body language that would indicate how he or she feels about 
what's happening or what's being said or something like that, right? So it's a, uh, it's a somewhat different process there, right? Uh, of course, any good novel does a lot of show, don't tell, right? I think I'm, I'm decent at that. But a screenplay leans far more heavily into the show, don't tell, because unless you've got a narrator, uh, in this screenplay constantly telling us what so-and-so thinks of such-and-such, such, then it's going to be uh, a different challenge there. So um, another interesting little tidbit that I've picked up on as I've been researching writing screenplays is that uh, a screenplay is a uh, a much more... Well, let me rephrase that here. A screenplay is one part of producing a movie, right? The screenplay still has to be really good on its own merits, but the screenplay is also just one part of the larger production. And that larger production is a, a more collaborative experience, right? You have the people making the costumes, you have the actors, the director, uh, you have all of these other people involved in the process. And so it's, uh, it's not just your own work like it is with a novel, right? Uh, with a novel, I control every aspect of everything, right? I, can, I control what all the characters look like, I control control how they dress, what they say, uh, every single element of the characters, the setting, uh, all of it is up to me as a novelist. But as a screenwriter, um, you have to put a little bit more faith in the actors, costumers, directors, all of them to do their job as well. And so too much direction in the screenplay of exactly how a character should say uh, his or her line or exactly uh, how the camera should be facing and when to fade in and fade out, all of that stuff there uh, might actually be offensive to the other people involved in the production. And so, uh, less is more in this case, which is kind of an interesting concept, I think, because I, uh, me being a somewhat detail-oriented writer, uh, wanting uh, certain things to be just so, so you get the exact expression and the exact period style clothing and all of this stuff, uh, that one might, might or might not prove a little bit of a challenge for me, but we will see as time goes on. But anyway, I am really excited to get started on this screenplay. Um, it does unfortunately mean that uh, since this is, I think, a pretty high priority here, that I will have to put uh, the third part of my series on, on pause for a little bit here. I haven't really been able to do much with it anyway but I think if this screenplay is going to happen I need to go uh, full tilt on that um, so hopefully it's a brief pause but a pause all the same um, likewise I find that with uh, this screenwriting project and me wanting to complete it uh, sooner than later. I, I think I'm going to have to slow down a little bit on producing these YouTube videos, which pains me in a lot of ways. I, I enjoy making these. I enjoy uh, seeing you guys uh, react to them, liking them, sharing them, occasionally making comments, right? I do, uh, I do enjoy this and I don't want to give it up altogether, but for the sake of time, and getting this screenplay done, I, I think I'm going to have to um, slow down the 
frequency in which I post these videos here. I, I think you guys will understand that. But uh, with that said, uh, my wife will still be working on uh, on her uh, prequel series, right? That is still ongoing. So more books are coming here. Uh, as I've mentioned in previous videos, I have a couple of friends that are also working on uh, some stories in the same setting. So those are not on hold. Uh, the only thing on hold right now is part three of the Griffin Legends series in its particular setting. So other books are still moving forward here. It's just me pausing on the third part of my series in this setting uh, so that hopefully, cross our fingers, we do get a movie deal sooner than later. And that would just be uh, super cool. I think that's a lot of authors' dreams right there to, to see something like that happen. So. Um, gosh, I think that's, uh, that's about it right there. I think we've covered everything that I had on my mind, but yeah, so, uh, stay tuned for more updates. Uh, like I said, it's, uh, it's not goodbye. It's not a complete pause on the YouTube channel, but I will be slowing down on YouTube channel here a little bit. So anyway, uh, Thanks so much, guys. I appreciate all of the time and, uh, yeah. Sorry, it's it's a little late here. I I uh, the sun's not even set, but I've uh, been kind of tired here. But anyway, oh yes, I was just saying goodbye to you guys. Um, it's been a lot of fun. Please like, share, subscribe. There is still the uh the GoFundMe happening to help. Uh, produce the second audiobook. We've made some good headway there, but we still have a ways before we reach the goal for producing the second audiobook. So if you have not donated to that fund yet and uh, you would like to or you know someone who would like to, uh, please do uh, follow the link in the description of the video there and I would be greatly appreciative of that. But anyway, uh, we will catch you all next time.